Uh, we better roll. Ah, go, go. Um. Animals in general are meant to have two different types of teeth, each with its own role. In the jungle, teeth are used for feeding, carrying offspring, fighting rivals, and to show off in an attempt to establish dominance. But we never once think that these teeth can grow to unimaginable lengths. If you ever stray into the territories of these animals, then you better start running. You do not want to find out what their teeth are truly capable of. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Forever Green. In this episode, we will show you 12 animals with the biggest teeth in the world. And you should stick around for number one, because if you think the human dental formula is complicated, then buckle up for a phenomenal discovery. Number 12, Alligator. A lot of people are not able to tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator, and that's because of their undeniable similarities. They are the spitting image of each other. After crocodiles, alligators boast of the second strongest bite force on the planet. They also happen to be the world's noisiest reptiles despite their lack of vocal cords. They also boast of having next to nil predators, but they are well equipped to take down the largest of prey. Alligators are known to lure birds into their deaths by balancing nesting materials on their heads. Before they know it, they are already in the alligator's mouth. They also have powerful tails that help them swim through the water and also act as a weapon in time of defense. During hunting, these tails are known to quickly sweep prey off their feet within a matter of seconds. Alligators are endowed with 80 conical shaped teeth that are about 4 centimeters long. They lack molars, so they waste no time chewing. Instead, they naturally swallow their food whole. In case an alligator loses a tooth, it is quickly replaced. For this reason, you might find an alligator has had 2,000 to 3,000 teeth in its lifetime. What's even more interesting is that jaw muscles that are responsible for opening their mouths have very little strength. But those that shut the mouth are the complete opposite. They are powerful to say the least. It is no wonder that alligators are capable of cracking open the shell of a turtle. Number 11, Shark. The teeth of a great white shark can grow up to 6 centimeters long. A couple of years ago, way before the existence of the great white shark, there existed a shark species known as a megalodon. It had triangular shaped teeth that can grow up to 18 centimeters long. Sharks are known to be one of the most feared sea mammals in the history of mankind. They are famous for cutting short the lives of fishermen, sailors, surfers, or those seeking to enjoy themselves in shark infested areas. Sharks are without a doubt the kings of sneak attack. They are very silent in their movement and anyone who has survived a shark attack will affirm that they didn't see it coming. They will creep up on you, take one big bite, and then they'll retreat and wait till you bleed to death before feasting on you. I bet you cringe every time you see the open mouth of a shark in the movies. You almost certainly know that their prey is a done deal. That cannot be further from the truth. The bite force of a shark is said to be more powerful than that of wildcats. Sharks can have up to 3,000 teeth at a time. Yes, you heard that right, 3,000. The great white shark, for example, has several rows of serrated teeth on their jaw. They constantly shed these teeth, which are replaced almost immediately. The remaining teeth rotate and move to replace the lost tooth. At one point in their lives, the back teeth become the front teeth. Think of it as a conveyor belt of teeth, because that's exactly what it is. Before we move on to our next animal, we have a short challenge for you. Leave us a like, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications and you'll win 10 years of incredible luck. Try it, it actually works. Number 10, Elephants. Weighing over six tons, elephants top the list of the largest land animal in the world. Their size is quite intimidating, even to the most ferocious animals. They are certainly not an easy target to take down. It's safe to say that they lack no predators, and those that have dared to attack them have been on the bitter receiving end of their tusks and trunk. Elephants have unfortunately been at the top of every poacher's list for quite a long time. They are usually hunted because of the pricey ivory found in their tusks. What most people don't know is that these tusks are in fact modified teeth of an elephant, incisors to be specific. The part of tusks that we see are only two thirds of their size. A third of the tusks are embedded deep into the skull. These tusks continuously grow throughout the lifetime of an elephant. They grow approximately 18 centimeters longer each year. An elephant's tusk can grow up to 300 centimeters long and can weigh up to 90 kilograms. 
These magnificent tusks are however not just for display, they are important for the survival of an elephant. They help them in gathering food, stripping the backs of trees, digging, and most importantly, protecting the trunk. They also use them as a weapon when they feel threatened. Once they pick their threat using these tusks, you can be sure it will land a couple of meters away. Number 9. Walrus Walrus are usually large in size and can weigh more than a ton. Despite their huge size and carnivorous nature, walruses are not aggressive. Most people actually refer to them as gentle giants. They have, however, played a big role in the capsizing of boats in the Arctic seas. Unfortunately, this has led to the ultimate death of many people. The appearance of a walrus resembles that of a sea lion because of their smooth, wrinkled bodies and flipped feet. Walruses have sensitive whiskers that are key in identifying food. Their main foods are shrimp, cucumbers, soft-shelled crabs, and clams. Basically, the kind of food you spend a fortune on. Walruses are marine mammals that are commonly found in the North Pole. As such, they have to maneuver through ice from time to time. So, how do they do it? They have long tusks that help them break ice and pull themselves out of the water. These tusks are actually their upper canines. They literally use their long teeth as walking sticks. These upper canines are ever-growing and they can reach up to 100 centimeters long. The longer it is, the older the walrus. You can also use them to tell apart male from female. The male tusks are longer and wider than those of a female walrus. Apart from using them as locomotion aids, males also use them when fighting for females during the mating season, as well as to simply establish dominance. Number 8. Babarusa Babarusas are also known as deer pigs, a name they get from having deer-like legs. They are mostly found in large herds deep in the Indonesian islands. Babarusa are from the pig family, which explains why they appear naked. Most people refer to them as pigs with a dental problem because of their very unusual teeth. These tusks are actually their canines, and they are only found in males. The upper canines protrude from the skull, then curve upwards, then inwards towards the skull. These babarusas have a task of trimming down these upper canines. If the trimming is not done, the tusks can penetrate the skull, which eventually leads to their death. The lower canines are longer and can grow up to 20 centimeters. What's even more mind-blowing is that these canines grow their own skin. It is assumed that these canines are used as weapons in times of danger, but the truth is that their main use is still a mystery. What's your opinion on what the canines might be used for? Let us know in the comments section below. Number 7. Warthog Warthogs are perhaps the most popular wild pigs. You will easily spot them in the grasslands, savannas, and woodlands of Africa. They rely on monkeys, birds, and mongooses to remove ticks from their bodies. Talk of mutual coexistence. They get their name from the wart-like growths around their eyes. These warts can help you differentiate between male and female. The males have three pairs, while females have two. Just like pigs, Warthogs wallow in mud to cool their bodies. Contrary to what most people believe, they are not aggressive. In fact, they prefer to run from trouble. And when I say run, I mean at a speed of more than 30 kilometers an hour. Fast enough to outrun their predators, they will avoid confrontation at all costs. As such would rather look for an abandoned den than fight for one. What you see as tusks are their upper canines. They curve upwards and outwards to form an almost perfect semicircle. These canines can grow up to 23 centimeters. The lower canines are shorter, but make no mistake, they are sharper and cause serious injuries. The opening and closing of the mouth causes them to rub against the upper canines, making them sharper. When there is no place to run, a warthog will not hesitate to use them to defend itself. When getting into their den, their rear side goes in first. The tusks peep through the entrance, ready to deal with any trouble that may have followed them home. They also come in handy when digging up roots, scraping off the bark of trees, and establishing dominance. Number 6. Sperm Whale When it comes to the loudest whales in the world, sperm whales win by a milestone. They are capable of producing ear-deafening sounds of up to 230 decibels. They were found to have large quantities of spermaceti. Spermaceti is an oily fluid believed to be sperm, hence their name, sperm whale. This fluid also hardens to wax during the cold season. There are numerous assumptions surrounding its purpose, but its main use is yet to be discovered. Sperm whales are social and like to live in groups. 
These groups may consist of about 20 whale, mostly female and young ones. The males? Well, they like to spend their time alone, and when they need company, they might hop from one group to another. Sperm whales are also the world's largest toothed sea mammals. They can weigh up to a whopping 57 tons. Their big bodies don't come easy as these whales eat a ton of food a day. I mean literally, one ton. Their food mainly consists of fish and squid. Sperm whales have two types of teeth, namely proper teeth and baleen teeth. Their teeth are mainly on their lower jaw and fit perfectly into the sockets in the upper jaw. These teeth can grow up to 18 centimeters long and can weigh up to one kilogram each. These teeth exist for show-off, hunting, as well as fighting other males. Number 5. Lion Of course, this list would not be complete without the king of the jungle. Or would it? Lions are one of the most powerful and fierce wildcats, armed with strong, muscular bodies, fearless nature, sharp claws and teeth. The odds seem to be in their favor. Well, most of the time, their unmistakable goldish fur just makes you want to pet them and run your fingers through their thick fur. It is assumed that the mane in lions is meant to protect them during fights. It also makes them look bigger, which can be quite intimidating to their rivals. We all know that most women have a thing for beards. Lionesses also have a thing for manes. They prefer to be with lions with darker manes, as it is a sign of strength and authority. These majestic creatures are equipped with a remarkable sense of sight, smell, and hearing. When hunting, they use their canines to clamp the throat of their prey, just enough to crush the trachea, hence leading to suffocation. These canines can also grow up to 7 centimeters long. They are sharp enough to tear the skin and meat apart. Their tongue also has numerous spines that help them to take the meat off the bone. The powerful jaws of a lion can open up to 28 centimeters. It is no wonder that they can take down just about any prey and eat 40 kilograms of meat in one sitting. What is even more astonishing is that these same canines are used to safely pick up and carry their cubs. Well, if you think the king of the jungle has the biggest teeth, wait till you see number one. Number four, baboons. I know this might come as a surprise to many because a baboon is not the kind of animal that you think of when it comes to large teeth. Baboon, being an old world monkey, is more famous for its lack of a tail, which deprives it from the luxury of swinging from one tree to another. However, this doesn't stop it from climbing up the trees when it needs to. The males in particular have a mane around their necks and shoulder known as tuft. Baboons have hairless bottoms and those of female baboons turn red when they are ready to mate. Baboons are also any farmer's worst nightmare. These primates eat just about anything and at any time of the day or night. When they feel safe, you will find them in groups chattering among themselves, a scene that may seem noisy or chaotic. They are very vocal about their emotions and each sound they produce has a specific meaning, be it a grunt or even a deliberate yawn. Baboons are also the world's largest monkeys equipped with powerful jaws, strong muscular bodies, and long sharp canines. These canines are about 5 centimeters long, much longer than that of some adult lions. They use them when fighting other male baboons during the mating season. Sometimes, they deliberately yawn just to show off their canines, and thus intimidate their rivals. These teeth are without a doubt great weapons of defense. They are sharp and powerful, enough to break bones or even kill a lion. Number 3. Payara The Amazon is one of the most magnificent places on Earth. It is home to exotic flora and fauna, anacondas, numerous species of fish, amphibians, and indigenous trees. In short, it is a destination for the most daring people only. It is said that most of the species of fish found in the Amazon River are yet to be discovered. You'll find all manner of things that you wouldn't find anywhere else on this planet. At any one point, you might encounter a piranha or an electric eel. And if you think that isn't scary, then you haven't met the payara fish. Another name for payara is vampire fish. That alone is enough to send shivers down your spine. Payara fish can grow up to 1.2 meters long and are equipped with a set of terrifying teeth. The most prominent ones are two fang-like teeth which grow up to 15 centimeters long. When a payara closes its mouth, these fangs go into two holes on the upper jaw. Those two holes are referred to as negative spaces. Payaras use their teeth to grab and eat their prey. The teeth are sharp enough to pierce the vital organs of its prey. Within no time, the prey starts to sink and the payara digs in. So, if you were thinking of going on a fishing spree in the Amazon River, well, 
think again. Number two, saber-tooth deer. From its name, it's clear that this is indeed a rare kind of deer. The saber-toothed deer has fangs like teeth that extend beyond its lower jaw. These fangs are actually outgrowths of canines, and they are only found in males. The fangs grow up to 10 centimeters long. During the mating season, saber-toothed deer are known to use their fangs mercilessly and inflict serious injuries on their rivals. In an attempt to woo female deer, they produce a pungent substance, which according to conservationist Stuart Chapman, could be worth three times its weight in gold. Imagine coming face to face with a saber-toothed deer. What would you do? Leave a comment below. It's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber wondering about this fearless human who seems to be cleaning the mouth of this creature with humongous gnashers. If you come across a mysterious photo online and want us to look into it, just send it over and we may even feature it on a future video. Now, we have looked into this picture and are excited to reveal to you that indeed it is a vet doctor having a look at one of his patients. And this takes us to our number one, Hippopotamus. Hippos are one of the largest animals on Earth, weighing over 4,000 kilograms. Hippos are not the kind of animals that you'd want to mess with. It's obvious that hippos love their water and sometimes they can get very protective of their space. They may not be carnivorous, but they are easily provoked, which may trigger them to launch an attack. Many people have underestimated hippos, and this is the reason why it's a number one killer animal in Africa. A tour guide in Zambia found himself under the mercy of a very angry hippo. According to him, he had met the hippo before, not once or twice, but several times. This day in particular, while doing his job, the hippo attacked him out of nowhere. He was partially swallowed by the hippo with only his feet dangling out of the hippo's mouth. He did not know he was in hippo's mouth because it was dark. After moving his hand around, he could feel the hippo's slimy saliva and sharp teeth. He managed to escape with the help of his friend minutes after the hippo opened its mouth. However, he lost his arm and escaped the jaws of death with 40 puncture wounds and bite marks. With canines that can grow up to 60 centimeters long, incisors that are 36 centimeters long and a very powerful bite force, an irritated hippo is bad news. And that's it for the animals with the biggest teeth in the world. Which of these animals do you think had the most enormous teeth? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you like this video, you should definitely leave a like and check out our video on 10 biggest animal clashes recorded on camera.